Hey everybody, I'm back with a haul, but I also have a little tiny share. <laughs> um, so yesterday I had some fun with uh, some of my coworkers. They are actually not crafters, but when they found out, you know, that I actually did some thing outside of work that was, um, you know, creative, they were kind of interested in learning more. And so I gave them a little uh, in-person class of the stitching die concept and how that works and, you know, die cutting in general and stuff like that. So, um, of course, socially distanced, we were outside in my backyard, cell set up with the machines and all the felt and, and goodies. So I had given them some of, uh, things that I had made, um, cause we had a lunch previously one weekend. So I had gifted them some of the things that I have made and they, that's kind of what piqued their interest just so, that they would have something to do that we, us crafters already know about, right? We have plenty of stash to keep us going because we have to stay in the house and not, you know, be socially distanced and all that good stuff. So we always have stuff to do as crafters. But anyway, um, this is what I made with them. I uh, actually added all of the parts and pieces, the candy cane, the little buttons, and his face after the fact. But I did sew this uh, gingerbread guy up. And it's the Gingerbread Plushy Boy from uh, Essentials by Ellen. So Julie Ebersol had uh, designed this one and the other one underneath it, as well as another die that is back here. So I used the little boy gingerbread dude and added a candy cane. This is just your um, standard whip stitch going around here. And of course, some embroidery floss. Then I cut, um, this is the latte color from um benzy design so their felt is actually a blend of wool and rayon i believe um and so it's still you know still very nice i didn't overstuff it it's an ornament or i can add it as a tag to a package um and i had all these little embellishments um that i could use this is cut with the dye this little face of some cream um scrap cream felt that i have i think this is vintage cream from uh, paper tray ink and then the little candy cane I'd ordered online as well as these little um, enamel dot buttons here and those are you can see them right in here I think I got these from honeybee stamps actually um, they're not labeled but that's where I got them from uh, and the candy canes I think I got these from somewhere online I can't recall now but you know there's a lot of stores that carry this kind of faux candy cane so he's a little cute plushy. The back is pretty plain. And I just glued these on with fabric glue. This is my preferred fabric glue, the Helmar 450. Um, this has done me so well in the past that I, I just continue use, using it. Um, so that's what I use to glue on these little pieces. I didn't stitch them on, obviously. So that's my little guy. Um, on to the haul. Um... I did get some, I got an order from Anna Griffin. Um, it wasn't a sale or anything, but she did had some of my things on sale. Um, that's her return po po policy. I didn't order from HSN because the way HSN does their stuff, they charge some weird amount each time you have an order that of an item. So I don't like that. And because I could just put it all together in one order and Anna Griffin is actually, her company isn't that far from me there in Atlanta. Um, I just ordered directly from her and some of her items were on sale. So the first thing I got is the door. What is it called? Door. It's a door set. Let's see. Door dies and decorations. And you can see some samples here. Um, she includes this with the package. Um, her, her dies, uh, for Christmas are typically for a five by seven size card. So they're really big. They're not a two size. Here's the dies for the door. Um, and so there are four pieces here. There's two on this one. So you can cut, cut the outline and the impression. And then there are some other pieces that are cut, like the door will open. And then these little intricate pieces at the top where the window is. Same thing with this other door. It's two pieces. So um, you have a you have a shape, the shape cut out, and as well as the impression and some other cuts that are made for each of the doors. And then it, it also comes with two embossing plates. One is a brick pattern. Um, it might be hard to see. 
And then the other one is more of a random uh, stone pattern. So this would be great for other things, not just, um, you know, a house. It could be a fence. Um, so that's the first die I got. The second one I ordered is this Christmas tree, Christmas tree dies. And you can see some samples with what she has here. Uh, they come on um, the sheets that she um, has available to to for her dies. So these actually, this one actually is hole punched um, because it's a standard size and will fit in one of her binders, which I also have. Um, but here's the tree set. So this will cut and impress um, the tree. This one has little pop outs for the leaves. You can see that here. And this one is the lights. So you can actually use it to decorate the trees, right? Um, and then you've got some other pieces like candles, tree skirt, a star. Um, I guess you can put the tree inside of the little thing here. And then there's some presents. So um, that's what is in the tree die set. Now, I also got the Christmas characters um, decoupage dies. Now, this has a couple of different things. It's mostly nutcracker themed, but then there's a reindeer in it too. So um, I'll show you that. So again, um, this is the set of dies. You get the nutcracker and he's got his uniform and boots and a crown. And then you got the ballerina and she's got a dress. Um, oh, the little bow tie I think goes with the, um, does it go with I don't know who he goes with. Um, there's a little bow tie here. And then there is a snowflake and the mouse king. And he's got a crown as well. And then there's a reindeer here with a scarf and a little... Um, uh, I don't know what you would call that. But anyway, um, you get the idea. There's all these characters from the Nutcracker plus the little um, deer that's in flight. So I got that set. And then this is the set um, that is a gingerbread house, um, what do you call it, stand-up card, easel die card, sorry. Um, so this makes the gingerbread house, and it's an easel card shape. So it cuts both. Um, so you got a couple of pieces here. So there's the easel card itself, the mechanism. Then you have the shape of the house if I can get it out of there. You have the shape of the house and then you have the house itself which is a layer and then there's a bunch of different decorative pieces. So you've got the door, you got this little, I think it's candy, yeah because there's candy right here. Um, there's a lollipop, some candy canes, a um, little window, and then the peak of the house. So this is the gingerbread um, house easel die and of course I had to get the castle that she has. You can see some photos here of samples. So I got the castle. Again, castle has similar to the Juniper house. It has the outline, it has a um, detail die, then all the windows and turrets, um, and then the balcony as well. Uh, and I think that's the front door, yeah, that's the front door. So all those pieces come in this. And again, these were on her magnetic sheets. Now this is not punched because it fits down in her um, holders that she has for paper. So it's meant to go in one of those as opposed to a notebook because this is larger than eight and a half by 11. So it will make a card, I believe, that fits in a five by seven envelope. Let me measure to the crease. Yes. So again, her cards are meant for more of a 5 by 7 type envelope, and this easel die does fit in one. Unless it's too bulky. If you make it too bulky, then it won't fit, but it's supposed to fit in a 5 by 7 The last die that I got is the Haunted House, because of, crazy, of course I'm crazy about having the house dies. Um, I don't intend to use it for a Haunted House, because I saw a sample that she had that was actually not a honey house. She did it in like a different color altogether, but um, she just made it into a regular house um, with given the pieces that you get. So um, it is it is meant for Halloween, but you can certainly dress it up differently. You don't have to have like the pumpkin in the window 
or the ghosts. Um, obviously with the webbing here, you don't have to highlight that. You can probably cover it up somehow. And you've got shutters and all different types of things. You've got the even the little um, decorative piece for the um, shingles and such. goes this way. So yeah, that um, this is the easel house die. Um, and again, 5 by 7 is the, the finished size of a card if you make this. So that's what I got from Anna Griffin. Um, let me put this off to the side because I want to share something else that I purchased. And it's this one of these bins. Um, it actually came from Amazon. So if you're looking for this, you can find it on Amazon Empty. And then you can fill it whatever, with whatever size bins um, you choose to use. So I have a bunch of the... Um, I had ordered some as well. I'd ordered this size as one set. And it's a smaller... It's the smallest size I believe they have. And then I had one of these already in my other bin, which I took out. And it's uh, the next size up, I think. Um, and then there's this size, which is more of your medium and then or large and then this is more of an extra large size so you can see what i have in it this bin will just be for christmas specific um embellishments so i have uh sequin mixes in here and you can see the um static inside is drawing that up some sequin mixes some clay clay piece mixes um all these are clay pieces um i even have my candy canes crumbles in here these are all Christmas so that's the reason I ordered it because my other bin was full and I needed more space for just the Christmas items that way I could just kind of keep them all together um, but that's I got this off of Amazon if you're looking for the name of this um, leave a comment and I'll provide the link for it um, but I you can order one that's already got all the pieces in it but if you don't use those particular types of containers then you're kind of you know stuck with them so what I did was ordered the empty one and then ordered the container separately because I knew what I had to fill them with. So yeah, that's that's what I got in my um, my haul today. I hope you guys um, are having a good week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.